winter is coming. The real one. What is up, grunts? Out here in the wilderness, and I'm going to talk about a special military surplus item that a lot of you guys have probably never heard of or seen. Is it showing? Can you tell? Probably not, because you're only seeing a part of it. This is the US Army sleep shirt. It is actually a polypropylene, we just called it polypro. Basically like the brown polypro, many of you guys have probably seen. It's a little bit lighter and made slightly different, but that's what we are talking about today. Let's check it out. If you have not heard of the Army Polypro, that is the ugly ass brown midweight or warming layers that we used to get that was part of the generation two extended cold weather clothing system the sleep shirt actually predates it i was not issued that but i was issued the standard brown polypros the top and bottoms now those are 100 percent polyester and just like this sleep shirt they all have a soft fleece lining very warm stuff the only problem with the polypros was they did not breathe at all so if it was like a deep freeze and you had any kind of movement coming up you had to take those off and you had to freeze until you started moving and warmed up significantly so the generation three stuff they do breathe a lot better so you could wear like what we call the waffle top during a ruck march or tactical movement and you would usually be okay at least i would be so the sleep shirt has actually turned into my cold weather paint shirt because i found that i was only wearing it when i was camping and when I was painting, I didn't have anything else to keep me warm. You know, Woo. good catch. Look at that shit. The camera is tilted, not the grunts, guys. All right, so as you can see, this is a big, bulky, pretty baggy shirt. And I like that because you can tuck it into your shirt and whenever you're moving around, it's not just gonna come out of your pants and everything. Also, one thing that sucked about the brown poly pros was the collar was tiny. This collar is massive. Big old military surplus style collar. Look at this thing, man. So this is why I discovered this item and purchased it for cold weather camping. Because I'm not doing movement at night when I'm just sleeping with this. So I would actually throw this on at a cold weather camp. And I would either throw it over another warming layer, usually my silk weight base layer. And then I would probably throw something else over it. But usually I was okay in freezing temps with just this and one extra layer under it. And like I said, they don't breathe that well, but they are very warm and comfortable. There's a better shot of the fleece lining. Very cool. On the outside, it's very water resistant. So that morning dew and everything, not a problem. If you just happen to hop outside like this, like I'm doing some outdoor yard work today, I don't want to throw on my big old puff jacket and get all hot and sweaty. This is actually perfect. Keeps me warm enough. And if we do start to get some drizzle, I don't have to worry about it. So that's an advantage of the generation two stuff over the gen three stuff, because like the waffle top and those pants, they're not wind resistant and they are not water resistant. Definitely not as much as this one. Plus because of the military surplus popularity, especially the gen three stuff, that stuff can be quite expensive. Good luck finding the waffle bottoms in your size. I actually picked this shirt up for $28 on eBay in new condition, damn near perfect. And again, all this stuff is from me, my outdoor activity and painting. Zipper still works fine. So if you think about that price, this is an outstanding piece of gear. So without the paint, I can actually go into town with this, no problem. And as a matter of fact, my wife actually said it looks good on me besides this stuff. So also, if you are concealed carrying, you got all this baggage down here. And do you guys see anything on me? The way I carry, I usually stand out a little more. Well, right here, right there on my hip. No problems at all. So maybe depending on what I'm doing, you might see a bulge or something, but I'm always cognizant of my movements. So that's it guys. Just wanted to share this old relic with you guys real quick. Thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you guys in the outdoors. Take care of yourselves. Got to get prepared for a winter storm. Got some work to do.